Cheers. Who's going to win the Olympics? Welcome back to Life in the SHL and thank you guys for being here and watching. But last night we had a big 4-2 win against Örebro. Today I'm just heading out to the rink. Uh, we have a little optional short skate recovery day, something like that. And we have an away game against Örebro tomorrow. And since the Olympic hockey is starting, uh, I'm going to go to the rink, ask the guys who they think is going to win the gold. Nissa, who's going to win the Olympics? Sweden. Sweet. <laughs> of course. Who's gonna win the Olympics? Can't say Sweden. Uh, then I say Finland. Good, good choice, smart man. <laughs> Who's gonna win the Olympics? Can't say Sweden. Hockey? Yeah. China. Okay. China. That's the first China? Finland? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you're you? just saying because I'm asking. Oh. I told guys not to say Sweden. Not to the say Swedish Sweden? guys. Marty, same for you. Russia. The Russian Olympic Committee, <laughs> not Russia. No, I think uh, Canada's going to win. You know? Yeah, you have to say Canada. So and I'm going to let you say Canada, too. If I can't say Sweden, he can't say Canada. Yeah, but I'm on Canada, hey, sort of. He's kind of <laughs> on the team. I'm kind of on the team. Yeah, <laughs> so you can, you can say Canada, the exception. Game day on the road against Örebro, uh, just heading out to team brunch. It's 9 a.m., uh, we have a meeting, and then we're gonna hit the road. About a three hour bus, game's at three, which is nice. Be home around 10 o'clock, so full days of work, but at least we'll be home at a decent time. So just trying to keep this thing rolling and uh, keep the point streak and win streak going. Guys are feeling good, I'm feeling pretty good about my game, so just trying to uh, check all those boxes again and play to my strengths today. So hopefully we can scrape up another three points and uh, keep climbing on the standings. Som kom som tilltänkt skarp skjut. Men som haft en stökig säsong. Nu plockar han upp den där i turen och fördubblar Örebros ledning. En holdingsutvisning och då kommer kanske läget. För Leksand då, som inför den här kvällen hade 60% i powerplay. Om man ser till de tre senaste matcherna. Leksands jakt fortsätter. 
Camper för Ashton. Roma vill ha den, får läget också, ta skottet och det är turen i mål! Carter Ashton jobbar in reduceringen med läxan på tavlan. Och till slut kom powerplay-utdelningen för de här fem. Som sagt, samlat över god försvar. Läxan som trycker in att det kommer också styrning. Farlig sådan, Max Verno är det som är där. Helt rätt spelare. Ser ut nästan för att du klarar han det. Tittade långt efter pucken. Schelin över till Carter Camper. Ashton framför mål. Styrningen är nära! Vilken räddning en rot! Det är bara sekunder kvar. En superräddning av Jonas Enrot. Det hade ju mycket att skjuta på. Här kommer det stället puck. Inet Örebro kommer vinna den här matchen. Gör 3-1 till Tomkast. A couple roster news before getting into the uh, game recap. Good buddy Ben Thomas was sent out to uh, Vakha. Jesper Kundergaard was loaned out to uh, all Svenskan team. And then I guess the big one that you know by now is that last year's SHL League MVP Marek Hrivik is joining the team for the rest of the season from the KHL. So definitely a big upgrade. I hope uh, he can kind of bring the level of, of play that he had last year and kind of give us some more, more offense, even though we're pretty electric right now. But about the game, uh, tough 3-1 loss, I believe. They scored an empty netter at the end. Um, it, was, it was a good game, tight game, playoff style. Um, both teams played well defensively. Personally, for me, I really like where my game is at, and I think just reading the play, the positioning, getting to my spots, being in balance allows me to, you know, control the rebounds, uh, make the game simple and come to me and, you know, not be ahead of the play and not chase it. So I think when I'm doing all those things, it's the game seems pretty, pretty simple, but obviously it's not. So overall, a good game. The first goal, they kind of came through the defense and the like a two against the O in front of the net. The guy lost the puck, the other guy shot it, kind of just nicked my blocker and went in. And then the second goal was a uh, pass from the corner. He just skate up front, of course, right into, uh, right into the slot to their guy. And he just one-timed it. And I, I was able to get across a little bit, kind of just touched my shoulder a little bit, but he had a good shot. Uh, went top shelf, so. Uh, but yeah, tough tough to lose. Wish we could have had the another three points from a big rival, but. Uh, we'll we'll take the take the lessons and take the victory on Thursday, and um, you know just keep keep working on our game and climbing up the standings because that's what it's it's all about right now. And we have a bunch of games coming up. It's we have like a four game week coming up, an eight day road trip, which is crazy for this league. So uh, kind of making up all those games from COVID. So Fox is here. You want to say anything, Fox, to the camera? What do you say? Thanks for watching. She knows. You want to go to school? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Are you excited? Day off today, and it's Fox's first day of school slash daycare. So she's got a little orientation today, and she's super excited. Today's also Valentine's Day, so just gonna hang out with the girls, take the wife out to dinner, and just gotta recharge batteries until another week of games. Fox, what do you want to eat? What do you want for dinner? Pizza. Pizza? Yeah. Oh, well, we ordered you one. Cheers. Did you get pizza? Yeah. Did you want to cut it? Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. I need some. <laughs> you got your apple. The chocolate strawberries are for mommy and daddy. It's mine. Yours? But well, you have an apple. No. You want it. Uh, we'll negotiate.